What's up guys, it's Andre here. I'm coming at you with another healthy recipe. Today I'm making cauliflower crust pizza. Like start to finish, we're gonna do the crust, we're gonna do homemade sauce, and we're gonna do some fresh mozzarella and some toppings. So let's start it off. Instead of using a head of cauliflower, because I don't have a food processor, I'm just gonna be using these uh, rice cauliflower packet things. So I just popped two of those in the microwave and placed them out in this towel to cool down. Now you're gonna wanna put these on a clean kitchen towel because we wanna squeeze all the water out of it because that's the only way you're gonna be able to get it nice and crispy. Why would we make cauliflower crust pizza, you ask? Um, so you can feel less guilty about drinking beer while you're cooking. <laughs> Alright, so next we're gonna crack in two eggs. About a half ounce of Parmesan cheese. Freshly grated, of course. One ounce of kefir cheese. I make my own kefir, so I'm able to actually make my own kefir cheese, but if you don't have this, you can add a, a goat's cheese instead. And a little dash of this uh, four cheese blend, just because we have it in the fridge. So we're gonna have a bunch of different cheeses in this crust. And then salt, pepper, and cayenne. I almost forgot, make sure you guys preheat the oven to 400. That's everything, then you're just gonna wanna go ahead and mix this up until it's uh, a dough-like consistency. That's it. Next, we're gonna line a large cookie sheet with uh, parchment paper so that it doesn't stick. All right, and check out this consistency here. It, it's, it's not gonna look exactly like a pizza dough, but you just want it to be like pressable so you can press it into a pizza-like shape. So I'm gonna dump this all onto the surface here. So I find the easiest way to make this into a pizza shape is to put down some plastic wrap on top of it because it's just gonna wanna stick to your hands. So throw down some plastic wrap and then work it into a pizza-like shape. Andrew, yeah, you got a rolling pin? Yeah, we got multi-uses for beer in this kitchen. <laughs> All right, and then it should look something like this. I would say about like, I'm doing like an eighth of an inch thick because I like it pretty thin. Um, and then you can go around the edge and like push and make like a crust-like edge if you want, but that's, that's optional. Okay, crust is done. Um, now we're gonna pop this in the oven and part make it for about 40 minutes. Start this off with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. That's one of the signature flavors in pizza sauce, so don't be afraid to use some olive oil. Two anchovy fillets. Now, I know what you're thinking, anchovies, but trust me on this one, it's gonna add this salty umami flavor and you're not even gonna be able to know what it is. Five heads of garlic, or cloves of garlic, that is. A good dash of red pepper flakes. I like my pizza sauce spicy. One of the signature flavors in pizza sauce is oregano, so we're gonna want a good solid dash of oregano. A little bit of onion powder, and because I really like garlic, a little bit of garlic powder. <laughs> Next we're gonna add one can of San Marzano tomatoes. Only the best, straight from Italy. San, San, San Marzano. All right, just go ahead and dump those in. Some people are gonna like tell you you have to simmer this for hours, but we're just gonna cook it while the crust is cooking and it should be good by then. All right, this is what it's gonna look like when you take it out of the oven. It should be nice and golden brown and crispy around the edges. Now it's important, before we put the toppings on, you wanna flip it over. And if you did it right, it should be able to stay together 
no problem. But it's just because this side is gonna be a little better for putting the toppings on. First, we're gonna hit it with some of that homemade sauce, which is tasting amazing, by the way. All right, we're gonna throw in some fresh mozzarella. Just go ahead and like evenly disperse this throughout the whole pizza. Hit it with some pepperoni. Uh, go ahead and throw some fresh basil. Finally, hit it with some fresh Parmesan. Just some nice light dusting on the top. All right, we got all the ingredients on it. It is looking amazing. I cranked the oven up to 450 so we get some nice color on the cheese. Go ahead and we're gonna cook this for about, I'd say eight to 10 minutes. Once the cheese is like golden brown and bubbly, it's ready to come out of the oven. Oh my God, that looks so good. Holy shit. Now, very important next step, you wanna get this right into one of these wire racks to cool and that'll uh, help the bottom to stay pretty crispy. That's it. This is the pizza, and let me say, it's looking really good. So, let's cut this thing up. Unfortunately, I don't have a pizza cutter, but a knife will do. All right, let's give this a try. It's looking super good. Oh my God, it's so good. Like, the cheese that you put in the crust, it's just like, crispy, cheesy flavor, and the, the homemade sauce with those San Marzano tomatoes. Oh, it's perfect. You guys are gonna wanna make this one. It's so good. <laughs> Let's see how my roommates like it. All right, what do you guys think? Give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a yeah. Give me a score out of five. Seven. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Seven, baby. You hear that? Baby, what do you think? <laughs> all right, that's it. Homemade cauliflower crust pizza. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks for sticking it out till the end. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll have some new recipe videos coming soon, so you're going to want to subscribe. <laughs>